This program is brought to you as a public service by Maui Causes. Maui Causes is a crowd-funded media production group that provides media production services to a variety of environmental and progressive causes here in Maui County. Visit us on the web at www.mauicauses.org. Welcome to another edition of Maui Causes. Hi, I'm Sam Small. Um, you know, we bring you messages on this show that you're not likely to hear in the local newspaper, or on the local radio, because those media sources are really in control of the corporations. Um, they have an agenda to uphold and continue the status quo the way things have been going here uh, since the plantation days. Um, it's all connected, it's all related, um, and all of that is intended to exploit and take advantage of every financial aspect out of Maui County that they can do. That's how these things work. The companies have taken over. It's not even the same plantation families anymore. Those companies have been bought up. Uh, they are being controlled by international global corporations who are making the decisions for these islands, who are making the decisions that impact your life. And that has to change. And we have the ability to do that now. Given the access that we have to media and the internet, uh, you know, we, we ran two years ago, the Shaka movement uh, created a, a, something, it created history. It never before had petitions been collected to get an initiative on the ballot. Never before had the public really stepped forward the way that they did to try and stop the control, stop the exploitation and the risk that it brings to your life and your children's lives. We did something about it and a fire was lit and that has run through this community, empowering people that have been exploited for so long, they think it's normal. They think it's normal to, be, to grow up being told Shut your mouth, don't make waves, don't create problems. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not normal. And you, that the community, this community in Maui County does not have to live under that kind of exploitation and oppression. And coming to the party have been local candidates uh, for county council and state house that are looking to change that whole system. Doesn't mean that we shut everything down. Doesn't mean that we put you know, an, an entire community at risk by shutting down the economy, but it does talk about smart growth and growth that doesn't ex overly exploit the natural resources, that puts the natural resources on par on balance with economic growth um, so that we can have a long-term expansion here in Maui County that benefits the community over time, that doesn't just suck the resources out of the community for the benefit of off-island shareholders that have no care really about the quality of life. And so we've been talking to a variety of the candidates that have put their necks on the block uh, to uh, step forward and, and put themselves in a position for you to vote on uh, so that they can help uh, uh, change the texture of our Maui County Council. Um, and uh, with us today um, is Shane Sincensi, one of those candidates who has put himself forward. And I want to thank you uh, for, for being here and thank you for stepping forward to represent your community uh, in a way that is balanced and uh, can be sustainable over time. Thank you, Sam, for having me in your in your beautiful home. Sure. Thanks for having me. Yes, pleasure. Yes. Um, you know, we, we, we you, you've heard the intro. What uh, how, do, how what have you seen in your community uh, uh, that resonates with what what I was just talking about? Awesome. Um, thank you for that for that intro. Um, like like other leaders in our community, we, we do need to wake up our community. Um, uh, you hit the nail right on the head. You know, we've been so lackadaisical in our lifestyle, and it's been nice, but uh, we haven't kept up with the changes that we've seen in the last couple of years here in Maui County. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm running. Um, 
we've enjoyed uh, such a, a peaceful and, and a serene lifestyle out in uh, uh, eastern Maui. Um, but uh, of late, we've been seeing a lot of the changes uh, that started on, on the central side of Maui County and then just kind of creeping its way out to, to the country out in East Maui. Mm -hmm. And so um, as, a, as a young leader uh, in my community, I'm just stepping forward. So just to offer my help, I'm willing to do the work and to kind of meet those uh, changes head on. Um, for my people, for my community, and for the greater Maui Nui, Maui County. Um, I look forward to, um, to running in this election and running my campaign. And um, I'm eager to work uh, for Maui Nui. Um, we've already been doing some of the work uh, in HANA um, and meeting with a lot of the different uh, factions that that uh, affect our community and our way of life, uh, including, including uh, county agencies, state agencies, uh, federal agencies, and a lot of their, uh, you know, the road projects and, and uh, different infrastructural uh, projects uh, in East Maui. Mm -hmm. And you've been on uh, a variety of boards. You're on the planning Advisory yeah. board. Uh, I right. I, I served a couple of years on the uh, community advisory to the planning commission. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently on the uh, Hana Community Association, and I also do some cultural work with the Ahamoku uh, Cultural Committee, mm -hmm. um, um, with our uh, local um, groups around around the island. Mm -hmm. And you were also a, a, a teacher. I've been a teacher for nearly twenty years. Oh boy. Um, so I've worked with um, a lot of our youth. Um, I've been an advocate for for some of the uh, for disabled children mm -hmm. um, and children with uh, learning disabilities, and um, it's been um, wonderful working with our children and trying to inspire them and um, just kind of get them get them up to speed um, in school and and wanting to find their way through the through the uh, public school system. Well, what a, what a refreshing change it is, you know, to, to, to have someone from a local community, uh, you know, to step forward and be willing to uh, be in a part of the county council. Our county council, you know, has been dominated by, for so long uh, by people that really don't have their fingers on the pulse of their community, that are really not paying attention and doing service to the community. They've been doing service to the developers and the the business interests that are exploiting these islands. Yes, we've seen that firsthand in this last couple of years. Um, a lot of the times my community needs to, to step up and you've seen some of them um, protesting outside for some of their, um, their rights. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the times uh, the county council will earmark or rubber stamp uh, policies that uh, just kind of include every one of us without bringing it to our communities. Um, we, we want to work with our communities. Uh, we want our communities to, to have a say in, what, in what's happening in their neighborhoods. Yeah. So um, a lot of our work has been getting out the information to our constituents and just having them uh, participate in local government. Voting. Vote, yes. They can do by, right, right. they can participate it's, it's by voting simple. on this, yes. Right. I, yes, I exactly. so appreciate Bar uh, Barack Obama. If you folks uh, saw the Democratic uh, uh, convention, uh, uh, you know, speaking uh, up to the audience when they started to boo about Donald Trump. He's exactly. like, don't boo. Vote. Vote. Yes. And that's really what it, what it is. A lot of people in the, in, in the community um, have not wanted to participate. Uh, in, the, in the voting process? Yes, um, either they haven't been educated about it and mm -hmm. ta thanks to your you know, programs, um, you're getting the word out and, uh, to help our, uh, mainly our young people educated about voting. Mm -hmm. um, I believe a lot of the younger people, they haven't found value and they pretty much believe that their vote doesn't count. Well, there was nobody to vote for. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're, I like to remind them that this right. election is different. Right. Uncle Shane's running. So Rock hopefully on. I'm getting the the younger voters um, 
involved. Right. Yes. Well, and, you know, I mean, the track record of the incumbent, um, you know, who supposedly is representing East Maui, um, really hasn't done anything that I can see for that community. The, the, the budget request that uh, came from him uh, this, uh, this past session uh, benefited a, a family operation uh, that related to the racetrack in central Maui, not asking any money for HANA. Yes, we've been working hard just for our basic uh, infrastructural needs. Um, you know, we've got um, our public facilities, bathroom facilities are all dilapidated. They have been, you know, over 40, 50 years. Right. Uh, we've got all types of sewage system problems. Um, we don't have the, uh, the capacity to meet the demands of our visiting population that come out to East Maui. So we're, we're just kind of wanting to you know, uh, come up to bring everything up to standards. Mm -hmm. And with all the changes, we haven't, we haven't seen any at our, you know, at our county level. And we're, you know, I'm running just to kind of uh, advocate for that. Right. And the, so you've, as a community, you've not been able to get support from the county council. You did have some interactions with the parks department be, uh, 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 around the bathroom facilities that you, that you just mentioned. Right. And, and the community had to step up to the plate and say, wait a minute what you're planning on doing, thank you for wanting to improve yes. the infrastructure of some of these bathrooms, right. but the way that you've chosen to go about it ignores the community's needs. Correct. Um, as you know, you know we're a, a fishing village first, so we love spending our times at the beach, uh, fishing and with our families. And so some of the designs that they had uh, put forth was, you know, environmentally not friendly and so the community wasn't satisfied with some of the plans that they did and they um, want they wanted to put the cesspool right underneath yeah, right. it there's one mm. open grassy spot down there by the beach and right. that's where they wanted to put the cesspool uh, they want to put the leach field the there. leach field and for so, us it was a concern um uh the proximity to the to the beach sure yeah that stuff doesn't stop leaching. It just goes, the cess just goes out into the ocean where you swim. Exactly. And as you know, you know, we've got a lot of runoff. Right. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, underwater springs. So right. they all empty out into our bay. Right. The bay is a natural fishery for us. Right. Um, it's a place for us to, to gather fish. And so for us, it just, you know, wasn't an option for, for the community. And so what did the community do? Um, so we showed up at the county meeting and so and just to express um, that we didn't want the, the leach field so so close to the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still waiting on on the the options uh, to be presented back to the community. And Correct. that has been uh, almost a year now from uh, last summer. And how was dealing with the, uh, the, the, the county parks and recreation? It's, yeah, it's been a chore, it, uh -huh. you know, just the basic bureaucracies and, and just getting our, our work, you know, the name, you know, just our intentions out there. It's, right. been, a, it's been a chore. Well, and, you know, it, it, it's hard for me to pass up the opportunity, folks, to, you know, talk about the Parks Department without mentioning that the current head of the Parks Department is run by someone who was appointed uh, by Alan Arakawa, who has absolutely no qualifications to be running that department. This is typical of the kind of manipulation that goes on in this county. The county council refused to entertain, refused to pass along to you a charter amendment uh, proposal that would allow you to vote on whether to minimize the role of the mayor, giving responsibility over to a professional town manager, providing standards, hiring standards so that uh, uh, directors of county departments would have to have experience in the areas of, of the, their appointment. That currently is not the place, the, the case. These, the, the mayor has hired all kinds of friends. The guy who's got the position now ran against Ellie Cochran. 
uh, and failed in his election attempt two years ago, but instead was rewarded by the county with a $100,000 plus job for which he is completely unqualified for. This is the kind of crap that goes on in this community. And they wanted to, 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 you know, to, 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 to have you guys swimming in that same stuff. Yes, thanks for saying that because, you know, the community came up full force. Um, they said their piece. Um, they came with options. They, they even um, wanted to, to help out any way they could. Sure. So we've got willing participants, you know. They love their, their community. And they're willing to to do whatever it takes. Yet we're we're met with these types of bureaucracies and and, and, and ineptitude. Ineptitudes, yes. And in and a a resistance to change. Yes. Because and they're very the powers that be are very comfortable with the way things are. They don't want it to change. And these are the reasons why you know other candidates like myself, that we're willing to step up. We're excited to do the work. And we look forward to, you know, we want to kind of um, move ahead, yeah. you know, unite all the parties or so everybody involved and, and, it and takes move work. ahead. It yeah. takes work. It's, it's not an easy thing to, yeah. to, you know, if you're going to do it. I always say, you know, it's, it's easy to do the job if someone is telling you what you should be voting for. Exactly. You know, if, if, if understand, folks, that you know the, the, the Ellie Cochran and Don Guzman. My understanding is anybody, please correct me if I'm wrong, but they're the only two council members that actually sp have money spent doing research. All of the county council members have an allocation for a staff, but most of them use that money just to have a secretary who answers the phone and keeps their calendar. Um, uh, it, it, they don't put energy into doing research. And these are complicated issues, some of them. You know, I mean, the injection yeah. wells and, and, right. and the leach field like you're talking about, you know, you need to be able to read and understand an engineering report and, 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 and fi be able to figure these things out. It yes. takes some work. And if you're not, if, if they're not doing that homework, then where are they getting their opinions from? How are they deciding, you know, how to, 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 to vote on these things? Um, they're being told. They're being told how to vote. That makes it easy for them, makes it a cushy job. They don't have to do any work. They get benefits. Uh, you know, it, it, it can't exactly say how they receive those benefits. It's filtered through, you know, a system, but dollars to donuts, they're getting benefits. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a tricky thing. Hey, you know, like I said, we're, we've got other communities that, you know, with new and innovative ideas and mm -hmm. they've made it work for their communities. They're willing to help us. And, you know, we're we're excited about moving forward. Yet again, we're dealing with a with a, a system that just kind of keeps it from happening. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's we're a, just kind of blown away. It's like, I don't know how this is, you know, it should be it should be fairly simple for us to, you know, get the basic needs that we need in our community. And I think that it's, it, um, I think we really got a shot, you know, at, at making it happen. Uh, yeah. Because the, 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 the voting constituency historically here has been made up of people that are looking to protect their own vested interest. Mm -hmm. You know, those people are already all voting because they know that if they don't vote, then, then, you know, they're not going to, their opportunity to exploit the community will be taken away from them. And they don't yeah. want that. Yeah. Um, and so I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it, you know, that, it, that uh, the, the community is able to see the value um, of, of moving forward and taking, you know, uh, the reins uh, uh, of the county um, and and really making the county work for the people, not for corporations. Yes, it's not our intentions to instill fear in the in the you know in the populace. Um, we're just you know we're just here, um, willing candidates to um, with good intentions for our families, for our children, and for our communities. And um, we're 
directly affected with the decisions made at our local government and we're willing to step up we're willing to take the the responsibility to kuliana um and you know it by all means we don't want to offend anybody it's not our intentions we just want to go ahead and move forward and do the work well that's that's a valuable thing yes that respect and love f uh, for the Aina and the, the Kuleana, it, 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 you know, it, it, that's what's brought you uh, to run for office? Yes. Um, you know, I've, I've been watching some of the, uh, my other colleagues, the other candidates, and, and very interested. All of them have a vested interest in their own communities. Many of them have been working with children. So they've, you know, they've inspired children they all their lives. They have, actually. Yeah. Now they're thinking about it. They've a lot always... of the candidates that have come forward uh, yes. are, have been working with young people. They've always looked out for the children. And by them stepping up and, and uh, running in this election, you know, they want to ensure that those same children that they've taught all these years have, you know, an, an equal part of our future, of Maui's future. What else uh, is going on out Hanaway that that um, that needs to be addressed? You guys are getting, you know, a lot yes. more so, tourism, and a lot of the properties from the ranch yes. are being sold as residential real estate. Right. So as you know, just like the uh, HCNS, the Hana Ranch has uh, put up for sale a lot of our uh, coastal, their coastal properties. Uh, properties that the community uses for fishing and gathering purposes mm -hmm. um, and so um, some community members have, have organized and formed uh, uh, groups to um, to speak with um, agencies that could help us put some of these properties in land trusts mm -hmm. uh, possibly acquire some of these properties um, I know the county has has helped in the in the past with with a few of the the properties out in East Maui, mm -hmm. and we want to look at including uh, North Shore, mm -hmm. so we want to uh, continue or make sure that the county uh, acquires some of those properties. Um, you know, the Sierra Club has been has been great in in those initiatives, mm -hmm. um, and so for us, um, and uh, keeping. As you mentioned earlier, smart development or or keeping development um, at, at keeping balance. it back, yeah, yeah. in balance, and it's... keeping all of those uh, open spaces for our communities and for our uh, future uh, future generations. So, as you know, you know Maui residents have a has a close relationship with the environment and with the aina. And um, we love being outdoors. Uh, we love being on the coast, at our beaches, in the mountains. And it's, it's important to, to keep these, um, these lands, you know, for, you know, for and in public trust. Right. So we want to work towards that. Well, and that's, you know, the public trust is really, you know, where um, a lot of these issues lie. Um, you know, we had a, 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 a community meeting um, where a bunch of the state senators uh, came, uh, uh, sorry, the representatives uh, uh, came um, and, and met with the community in Haiku. And we asked them specifically about what was their understanding of the public trust doctrine. Mm -hmm. And uh, they really didn't have an answer. They didn't understand the depth and importance of the public trust doctrine. Yes. Their only interpretation was to say, well, that's what uh, protects the public's access to the beach, you know, so the hotel can't right. own the beach, that the public can have a right of way and access the beach. That's only a small portion of the public trust doctrine. Right. What they're ignoring is that the public trust doctrine empowers the government and the people to protect the well-being and purity of the, all the natural resources on the island. Exactly. As you know, you know, water is an important issue and it's at the top of the, you know, the list uh, with HCNS closing. 
So um, out in East Maui, you know, we provide almost 600 million gallons of water per day for for Maui County. Yeah. So uh, it's an important uh, resource for us. Um, uh, it's important for our fisheries. Mm -hmm. It's important for our stream ecosystems. It's sure. important for our taro farmers. You know, so um, we want to make sure that it's a resource that is properly managed and and protected by the state constitution. So many things, you know, here have been affected by the, the, the plantation system and the plantation mentality yes. um, that they've, you know, it has consolidated power, economic and political power. Um, the, 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 the military consolidated, you know, political power, you know, during and after World War II. And they've just, you know, it's just, Hawaii has just been handed over to these companies that are now, like I say, no longer even local. Yes. You know, it's 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 off island people, uh, you know, in foreign countries that are making decisions that affect everybody here in these islands. Yeah, it's been over 140 years that the uh, plantation ideology is kind of ruled over our island and our and our lifestyles. Um, but uh, with the, um, the plantation ending or the sugar industry ending, we look forward to to the future with great hope. Um, I, I am with my, const uh, my constituents and my fellow candidates that want to continue and grow the green economy. Um, we want to support the, uh, the local culture, the Hawaiian culture, and continue that as an economic engine. Um, we want to um, continue the sustainable farming methods, uh, methods that are um, healthy for our environment, for our water resources. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the exciting part. It's just, you know, we're, we're excited to continue those doctrines. And, and it's not going to be easy. And again, that's one of the, the reasons why, you know, a lot of community members are actually stepping up um, in the fall, in, in two weeks and in the fall. And mm -hmm. this is not, you know, I mean, this is not just a Hawaiian thing. Oh no! Yeah, it's not. Um, it's it's basic health and healthy island living. You know, um, the culture for me, the culture has established uh, a rich history and some basic values that everyone can follow, mm -hmm. um, and it includes health. It includes uh, environmental environmental health. Um, uh, it has sustainability, um, all of those things that are um, that we need uh, to take us into the future. Um, like you mentioned earlier, we could easily see how this could go. I mean, this could go like Oahu and just massive development. Absolutely. Um, and you know, a lot of the development is in areas that our resources are already. Um, uh, little or or almost non-existent. We're going to have to um, uh, transfer all of these resources to these areas that want to be developed. So, well, the, you know, the the development, uh, you know, the, the county council has saw fit to abandon the county the, the island plan. Um, they think that that's just for informational and, and recommended purposes only. When in fact, the island plan is actually law. And, and, you know, we need to take that battle to the people um, yes. be, and, 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 and reestablish and re-empower that island plan. Because in throwing out the island plan, they've opened the doors to rampant development yes. that, that doesn't make any sense. Exactly. They wanted to put low-income housing, you know, over by the, the, uh, uh, um, the aquarium. You know, in that the field that in those fields that just burnt. Right. Well, yeah, it's a high fire. It's it, it, you couldn't pick a worse place to live on this island than right mm -hmm. there. And yes. that's where the developers wanted to put low income housing. Spencer Homes tried for years to put housing in there and the community had to stop them from doing it. Yes. Uh, Oluwalu, another example where the community had to step in and and 
put the brakes on a development that was completely inappropriate and yes. ill-advised. And had the community not done that, that development would have gone through. Yes. You know, so it's, and, and it's not a matter of shutting all development down. No, it's not. You can't. I don't think anybody, you know, yeah. nobody would reasonably suggest that. Right. You know, there's, there are people out there, the Real Estate Developers Association, folks, the Real Estate Developers Association is going to war with these candidates. They're saying that, that this man is an extremist. Um, they're saying that the, that the local candidates who, who want to do find balance, they're calling that an extreme position that will shut down the economic engine of these islands. And I reject that notion. I say that's bullshit. I say that that is greed talking from a, commu from a section of the community that is only looking to make money. That's, listen for those messages because you're going to hear them in this community leading up to this November election because a lot of money is flowing in. Two years ago, mm -hmm. over $8 million came into Maui County and was spent locally by Monsanto and Dow trying to trick you into voting uh, on their interests to, to, to not have to safeguard the, the health and well-being of this community and this environment. They wanted to be able to continue doing open field experiments of genetically modified crops and restricted use pesticides. Those level of pesticide spraying that they do, they spray as much pesticide as possible to see what survives. And then what survives is good to them. Well, that's happening upwind of where you live. And the moratorium two years ago was designed to stop that process temporarily and study it and see if it was really doing any, any, any harm to the community. Because the regulators have all been, you know, the, the whole federal regulate, regulatory system was written by these corporations. Understand the level of control. This is not conspiracy theory. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is fact. You know, the, 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 the corporations were brought in to write to the regulations and they've done a very good job of creating loopholes and working those loopholes. We tried to stop them with the GM moratorium and it's now mired in the courts um, because they say that you don't have a right to make that determination. You don't have a right to ask that question. You don't have a right to know whether your interests are being uh, uh, served by having th th that agriculture happen in your backyard. And that's just wrong. We have rights as a community. We have rights as a people. Um, and I say, you know, it's, this, is not just a, this is not just a Hawaiian thing. No, it's uh, be not. Because anybody coming here, people come here from the mainland. Mm -hmm. And they think that Hawaii right. is just another state. Sun, surf, sand. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, eh, you yeah. know, and it's like, you know, well, California has a state government and New Jersey has a state government, you know, and it's crazy, you know, but it's basically run by the people. Mm -hmm. That's not what goes on here. Mm -hmm. Our state government is not run by the people. Mm -hmm. Our state government is run by the, the, what remains of the plantation power system. Exactly. And my community, did they don't even know what went on with the GMO moratorium that the county did not certify mm -hmm. the election two years ago. Mm -hmm. They don't know any of that types of things. So um, it's just beyond people what some of the things are being done, especially if they're questioning, you know, qualifications. Well, we should be questioning the county's um, qualifications on these decisions. And their motivation. Yeah, you know, we're, we're you know we hope people will look at the you know, look at those campaign spending, uh, and the, the campaign contributions, you know, to see who these various different candidates are, mm -hmm. and where they're being funded, where their campaigns are being funded. There's a big difference. I am my campaign is grassroots. You know, I'm just getting a few you know from family and friends but nothing from big corporations, no, none of that with our campaign. Right, the developers yeah. are not rushing to support your campaign. Uh, no, not mine. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the other candidates, uh, you know, they're, 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 you look at 
at, at, at those reports. It's easy to find on the state uh, website. Um, and um, you'll see, you'll see how those campaign contributions relate to the decision ma the, that these people make on the county council and how that benefits directly those business interests and how that's counter to your best interest. It's happening consistently here. It's happening because no one has stepped forward to make the change until now. Shane, I want to thank you for, for you know, putting your neck on the block. It's not, thank you, sir. It's not easy. You know, it's like putting a target on your back um, to, 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 to do what you're doing. Thanks for having me, and I appreciate all the support. And uh, I'm in the general election um, in November, so um, I'll look for everyone's support then. Great. Super. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for uh, joining us this week. Join us again on uh, Maui Causes. Aloha. This program is brought to you as a public service by Maui Causes. Maui Causes is a crowd-funded media production group that provides media production services to a variety of environmental and progressive causes here in Maui County. Visit us on the web at www.mauicauses.org.